Hey guys, it's Jackie with Intoxicating Arts. I just finished this art journal page. I think I gave you a glimpse of it in a previous video, but uh, thanks to the Labor Day weekend, I finally had a chance to finish it. I did use many of the new products that can be found on my eBay auctions um, on this layout here. So I will link that below so you can check out my auctions. And I'm not going to go into too much depth because honestly, when you get into a project and then you leave it there for a couple days and then you come back, you kind of forget what you did to it. But I do think that the white resist that you're seeing right there is a picket fence paint dabber. And I think I even went and just kind of swiped it over in this area. And then the parts that you see kind of like this scratchy look is actually a stamp that I did clear embossing powder and so it's resisting in some areas and it's just I did that before I did the background colors so that's how I got that look right there um, but I I did do some as you can see some resisting just use some clear embossing powder the color that you see under that was actually a mixture of my first layer, which was um, antique bronze, tarnished brass, and picket fence. I just kind of squeezed those all down onto my mat, and I spritzed it with some water, and I ran the page through it just for the bottom layer, which is why you're seeing it in that area and over here and just random areas throughout. So that's what you're seeing resist through there, and then this brick wall background type stamp is a Tim Holtz stamp. Every single stamp I used on here, with the exception to this um, phrase right here, they are all Tim Holtz stamps, and this one is actually a Stamper's Best stamp, and if you want to save 10% at Stamper's Best, then just use code Intoxicating Arts. Just all lowercase and all squeezed together, and you can get 10% off. And I really love this stamp. It just says, um, I'll show you. It says, the voices in my head may not be real, but they have some good ideas. And I just stamped it in a couple different colors. These are actually color box petal point inks I did on all those. And then the background is kind of sort of using the marbling technique, but you can't really tell because they did get a little muddied up. And it didn't come out exactly how a marbling technique would, but anyways, that's what those are. I just cut them out and I put them up on this really thin foam that you can actually get from scrapbook.com. So it's very inexpensive and it's pretty sticky and it's just not quite as thick as some other foams. So I did like that actually. Um, and then I did some stampling here. Stampling? I don't know where I came up with that. Um, stenciling and I used some smooch spritz that I got in an eBay auction for a great deal. I'll show you that because I, I mean, you can find, besides my auctions, many of you know there's a lot of great things you can find on eBay. So I'm going to show you a couple things I got in a, in a minute. And then this was archival ink over here. That's another Tim Holtz stamp. And this metallic over here is actually, um, it's like a shattered glass stamp, and it's a Tim Holtz stamp, and all I did was take the, I think that one was actually tarnished brass, and I actually just put it straight onto the stamp, and then I stamped it here, and I actually stamped it over here a couple more times, but I did use some water afterwards, so it um, kind of got a little washed away, and you can't tell quite as much, but that's what that is, and then the the stamp I use here for all the resisting, like I said, all these are Tim Holtz stamps. They're from different sets, though. So I'll actually show you. Um, let me just show you really quick. Okay, so I used this stamp right here, which is from Slight Alterations CMS 060. So I actually stamped this three different times, and that's that scratchiness that you're seeing in this area and over here, just in like the white areas, is that stamp. I did use this stamp as well a couple times, which is that black over here you're seeing. And then this was the stamp I used for the uh, clear 
embossing resist over here. I stamped it multiple times. And these are from Ultimate Grunge CMS 075. This is the shattered glass stamp I used over there. I used this stamp. Um, I think I used this. Yeah. I used this stamp with the white paint dabber to get... Did I? No, I didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't use this stamp. Sorry. These um, little holes dots that you're seeing are actually from a stencil and I used the white dabber with the stencil. So I actually didn't use that stamp. I did use this one right over here and then that was that one and this is the brick wall that I stamped multiple different times. So and then the numbers that you're seeing down here it's all the same stamp and it's just the way that I stamped it is how I'm getting these you know, it's one, two, three, and then seven, seven, three, six. It's just the way I stamped it. It was from this stamp set right here, which is called um, The Impossible. Sorry. But it's called The Impossible. And, okay, so that's all the stamping and background was really just a bunch of using distress stains, um and just multiple different techniques really because I wanted it to have multiple layers like you can even see the polka dots coming through back there and I just wanted it to really have a lot of layers. Um, so anyways these butterflies right here are butterflies that I actually cut out um, using my eCal machine and I just cut it out on regular white cardstock and then once again I tried to do the marbling technique. I've been successful with that technique before, but I guess I wasn't really trying that hard, so that's why you can't really see the marbling in there. But more importantly, um, I used an embossing pen on this guy right here, and then I used the embossing powder sticky, and I'll show you that. This have that for sale. I have some of the embossing pens for sale, and then um, I don't have any of these for sale because they're sold out of them right now, but all the glitter you see on here is this. It's the dry fine glitter, the stickles, which will stick, any glitter will stick to the embossing powder sticky. So that is how I did that guy. And then this is using the same stencil that I used on the backgrounds, and I used their new embossing dabber right here. And I did think, I think I did squeeze a little too hard because it kind of smushed through. And then that's just, um, so I used the, sorry, I used the embossing dabber and then I covered it with the embossing powder sticky and then you heat it up and it makes it sticky and this is actually silver leafing. So that's what that is. And then this is that cracked glass looking stamp again. And then I just used Versamark. I used a lot of Versamark anytime I did any of the other embossing. I used Versamark except for the stencil. And so anyways, I used Versamark here. And that's just the cracked glass stamp again. And then used the embossing powder sticky and the Distress Fine Dry Stickles. And then this is Silver Leafing. This is... Another Tim Holtz stamp that was on one of those sets I showed you. And then this is just, once again, me using the embossing pen. I just drew those little designs on there. So lots of fun techniques, and it was really a lot of fun to make. So I wanted to share that with you. Um, the thing that I really like about art journaling is that I feel like when I'm art journaling, I can just do it as it comes. I really didn't know what the heck this was going to look like when I was done. And now that I'm done with it, I think it has a very interesting look to it. And I am glad to be able to add it to my art journal, which is now a whopping two pages. So anyways, um, let me just show you what I mean by the stuff I got. I can't believe what a great deal I got. I really wanted to get those smooch spritz when they were on sale at Blitzy. And I just really didn't have enough money at the time. But I found these, which are a total of, I think, 12 for 
on eBay. And I was just so happy. I mean, I got all these awesome colors now. Okay, it doesn't really want to focus here. Come on. There we go. Okay, so I got this really pretty color, which I did use a little bit of this. Where is it? Oh, I used this way down here. Right there. And that came with this red color. I got these ones. And they're all different colors, too. I'm so happy I found this on eBay. And it was really fast shipping. This is the color I use. It's called Electric Blue. And that's the color I used on some of the background you see. And right there in that stencil. And I got these. 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 So I can't believe I got all those for $20. And if you want to know who this seller is, I think she had a lot of other um, crafting, scrapbooking type stuff for sale. So I can find out what the um, screen name was for her. She was really easy to work with. And then I got all of these three stamp sets for $15. And I couldn't believe that because I got all three of them for 15 And I think they're kind of newer. And I just love that they're clean stamps. So, like that huge hot air balloon. Now, the only thing that kind of stinks is that, like, those are the same. But if you look at it, it looks like this one might be more bold. But I won't know until I stamp it. I don't know if that's just how you know, it came out on there, or what, but, like, I have two of the hands, just because that's how the stamp sets are, but, anyways, enough of that rambling, I just wanted to share my little project with you, and, um, that's basically it, so, <laughs> thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just let me know, don't forget to comment and subscribe, thank you, bye guys.